Hey everyone, this is a quick review of the Sopito French Fry Cutter. If you've got an air fryer and do French fries a lot, I think this is a must-have tool for your kitchen. First of all, assembly is really easy. You've just got to put the handle on, essentially, uh, and connect these two linkages right here. Uh, you will need a pair of pliers or a wrench uh, and a Phillips head screwdriver. Uh, that's the only tools you need to assemble this. They aren't included though, so just know that. The handle extension just threads on really simply, and there you go, you've got it assembled. To use this thing, you just grab the handle, pull it back, load a potato in there, uh, and then one smooth motion, move it forward, and there you go, you've got a perfectly sectioned potato or whatever it is you're cutting. It comes standard with a half inch grate. You can also buy a 3 8 inch grate, which I actually prefer for my french fries. On the bottom here, when you're using it, you've got a really strong suction cup that holds it in place on the counter, and you just put this pad right in front of your cutting board, and it works awesome. To clean it or disassemble it for swapping out the cutters, you just take these four wing nuts, spin them off, and then I suggest you tilt this up on end like this, because it does have some washers in there that can come out and you'll have to wrangle otherwise. So you pull the cutters out, make sure you don't touch the back end because it's sharp, uh, and then you can swap out the cutters, or you can just clean this, rinse it or throw it in the dishwasher. I've run mine through the dishwasher a few times. No signs of any damage or deterioration at all. Uh, and then if you want, you can also take the side plates out, which are also in contact with the potatoes. These are stainless steel. You can put them in the dishwasher or rinse them off. These just drop right back into place. They've got a groove they sit in there. And when you screw the face plate back on, it will hold them in place. When you're reassembling, this grate does have a top and a bottom. The bottom has a little pad on here to help it sit on the counter without scratching it up. So make sure you get that on the bottom and then put the wing nuts back on. When you're cleaning it, you probably also want to remove the pusher plate or if you're swapping out the grates, you also need to change out the pusher plates. To do that, there's this little catch right here. You just flip it up out of the way and the whole plate just lifts off. It's got two little hooks that you set in first when you're putting it back in and then you push this through this slot right here and then Hold it captive with that catch. Really simple to do. The construction on this thing is great. It is almost all metal. The only plastic parts are really the pusher, the suction cup, and then you've got the, the bearings right here that everything rides on. They're super smooth. They glide across these rails. Uh, and it's really good that the pusher is plastic because you don't want metal to metal contact. If there's a little bit of misalignment, you might get a plastic shaving out of it if you've installed this wrong, but you won't get metal shavings in your food. So overall, I'm really happy with this thing. It's already saved me so much time in the kitchen, and I'm really looking forward to getting years of use out of it.